detached body's version anyway. This is it here. And quite a simple fly, a reasonable simple fly to tie. Uh, normally you would tie the original fly that I put together many years ago was just basic detached body with a normal hackle. And all we did was trim the underside. A wee bit of flash for the wing. But this is a parachute a fine needle into your vice. Now I buy the ether foam or plaster so it this is close cell foam, uh, very simple, just slice it and into the thickness you want. This is uh, maybe two, just over two mil thick. And then I just basically cut a length. Again, much, just over two mil or so. Depending on the fly, the female is slightly bigger than the male. You can get finer ones if you want. The other version you could tie, you could even use this, this one here, which has got the suede chenille for the body. Again, that's another another design you could tie. So, now what I'm going to do here is just basically stretch the foam, just so it goes into a point and then break it, just like that. And then what I do is, right at the very end, just put it through, put a mill or two from the end. Now wax your silk. I got a thread, just pull it through, now I usually go, come in at the needle, hold the waist end, two or three turns there, and then basically bring the thread underneath the foam, a couple of times there, just to take up that segment. Now to give the, the body a wee bit more natural look to it, this is dyed black peacock hero, and all I'm going to do is basically catch it in with the thread as a wind up. So I'm going to hold the foam on the side of the hook as well as the peacock hair underneath. Come up maybe a mill and a half, two or three turns, bring the thread underneath. Now the thing to remember as well, see there's the waist piece, I'm tying that in as well. It's important that you do that. So again, just come it stretch it out, two or three turns, come out under. Now the herald's just giving it a wee bit of natural fibre up the body. To me, uh, it just adds a bit of natural colour to it and just looks better. I'm just going to add another one, so I'm going to stretch it out underneath. Two or three turns at the top. And then whip finish. Use your fingers if you can. I'm just going to use a whip finish to take the thread up. Now, when you trim away your thread, Make sure you've got a length of it there. Trim away your hero, just at the back. Not right up at it at the cut end, but just underneath. And you see they get some fibres showing through to just looks much more natural to me. And it's just a matter of sliding it off the needle. And there we are. Just now the reason for the threads, the waist piece and the tying thread still there, is that you can actually tighten these or pull them. And when you go to tie the fly, you can tie them in as well, because then that is part of the fly. Now, the hook I'm going to use is a Camasan, it's a B160. Now, you could use uh, a small curved hook or whatever you like. I mean, the B160, the reason I like it is because the body length here is equivalent to a size 14. That being this is a size 12, but the, the gape is equivalent to a size 12. Now, the... The Hawthorn is a large fly and it normally would be tied on that sort of size. So, but having the reduced cape gives you the, makes it se makes sense for having the, the detached body. Thread, same as thread as I use for the body, is a Uni 80 in black. Now what I'm going to do is, you can, I'm going to tie the wing in and the hackle for the parachute. So I'm taking the thread to the point of the hook and then bringing it halfway back up. And then I'm using a Glowbright number 16, this is this one here, this is the multi yarn, and the 16 is the white. You can use pink, you can use whatever colour. It helps to see the fly. Now you could offer it underneath, looking for about a couple of inches in length. Or just underneath the hook like that. And do like a figure eight either side. A couple of times, and then two or three turns. Just slightly post the the antron or the, the yarn. The, the hackle, this is a parachute hackle, or sorry, a hackle, it suits parachutes anyway. 
This is a saddle. It's a Hebert Miner. Dyed black. Ideal. The saddle hackles are perfect for parachute flags. Now, bear some of the stem. Just off it. Stem towards the back. And then I'm going to post both the hackle and the wing. Meaning I'm going to take the thread turns up. Very good. Six or eight turns and then work my way back down making sure it's nice and tight. Come to the back and then we can trim away the excess. And just tidy this area up. Then we tie in the legs. The legs are just a, a pre knotted leg. This is a pheasant tail leg dyed black. Just a couple. Take two off. Don't be shy with the length. Uh, the Hawthorne does have two long trailing legs. So you can catch them underneath. Two or three turns. Just get in position. See where they're going to sit. Don't have to be perfect. Don't have to be spawn. Much about the same length. That's fine. Just going to trim away the excess here. Then get our body. Sat it down. I can't find it. And there we are. Now, where I tied off is where I'm going to tie in, so that's over the back, so nice and tight, two or three turns. Now as well, I'm tying in the herald, the waist piece of thread and the tying thread, so I'm going to trim this away, but not right up close, leaving enough to tie it in, take away the foam. Now the other style of tying is to bring this over for the thorax cover, but in the parachute you don't want that, so just trim away the excess. And then we can tidy up this area. Turn the thread down in between. Then get yourself some dubbing or any kind of dubbing that you like. Now I'm going to use some dyed black seals for. You could use SLF, you could use dry fly dubbing, you could use peacock kettle even. It's up to yourself. I'm just going to dub it on. Now I'm not going to be fussy with this fly, I've never been fussy with the, the Hawthorne. It's terrestrial, it gets blown onto the, the rivers and the lochs. And they just don't want to be on, on the water because they don't like it, but the fish do. So anyway, we take our dubbing towards the front. And then, because we posted the hackle up, the arm, we have to then bring it back down, so we do a turn, the next one should be underneath, just winding round, this is why the saddle hackles are ideal, and as some people would call them parachute hackles, because they're, they're ideal for parachute flies, now you just keep winding till you get enough hackle, that you're happy with, now the easiest way, simplest way to tie off is just to take thread the hackle across the thread, bring the thread up at the back and then using the hackle to hold the thread so that you can come in and you can do a turn over the eye and another one and then you can basically do two or three more turns in just lifting the fibres just take your time I'm going to fold this back so it's tucked back form a small head A bit of varnish on your thread, just for speed. I mean, we could use wee gadgets and stuff, and I have just to teach people how to tie. But this is straightforward tying. Trim away your thread. Trim away your hackle. And because I've been pushing it up, you've got to bring it back down. Just make sure it's sitting. Now the post length. Start off with it quite long. I mean, cut it towards the back. Now, there's obviously these don't have wings that sit straight up. They have wings that lie back. But they're very transparent. They don't really see them too much. So what I would do for sight, first start with it quite long. So cut it right in line with the back of the hook. And as you're fishing through the day, and if you feel the fish are shy to the fly, and you think the wing may cause this, then you can always trim it back. I'll just get these legs into position so it looks better for the camera. And once you start casting this, it's going to be wherever it wants to be. Now you could put a wee tiny bit of varnish or so in there to help 
keep the hackle on, but I've always found them in the last well. But as you can see, this would give a great print on the water. Sits nice, catches fish well. Just gink it up. Always make sure the fish, when they turn on this fly, make sure they do turn on it and come down. If you strike too too early, you can pull the fly away. Um, but you'll see, you'll you'll learn. Enjoy yourself. And that's the Hawthorne, great fly. Uh, any colour even, if you want to try and represent other flies, it was, it's a good pattern for that. So I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>